Hey man, I'm Chris with Foam Cats, and here is some magic gameplay. I don't know what I think about this hand, but I go first, so we're gonna ride this out. I am playing a blue centric build with just a splash of red for some of the board swi uh, the board wipes. Um, <laughs> I kind of feel crazy because that card costs two red, and I have no mountains in my hand, so I don't really know why I kept this hand. And this dude's playing blue. And he's thinking. That's not good. It's never good when they think. Okay, at least I hit one mountain. So, initially I was just going to compulsive research and hope that I would hit a mountain. But top decking one is fine by me. So like I was saying, I'm playing a mostly... Oh god. I'm playing a mostly blue build that has an emphasis on winning with my opponent's stuff. So it's a really fun deck to play, but I don't know how competitive it is. But this is one of those decks where you're always winning in cool ways. If you win. When you lose, it feels terrible, and I don't know. Sometimes it's surprisingly close. Oof. Here's another card that lets me mess with my opponent. That's stolen goods. I'm going to take something of his. And I hope it's something goods. Um, I do have enough to pull off that, uh, that Sulfurous Blast now, in terms of red mana. But it's very rare for that to be a smart play when there's only one creature in the game, or on the board at least. Okay, I hit a Browbeat, and next turn he could start making me discard cards. So I don't know what the best play is. I don't think it's using my Blast right now. It might be Stolen Goods or Browbeat. When I cast Browbeat, that's going to give me three extra cards, or he'll take five. So if it gives me three cards, that'll put me at eight cards in hand, and I'll have to discard one. So let's go out on a limb and be funky and do Stolen Goods. I think this card is fun. And that's what this deck is. I don't even... Oh my fucking god. How do I play it? Oh my god, it's going to make me scroll down to cast it. That was really fishy. Did it even do it? Ah! It's getting so weird. How do I do it? Oh my god, what if my turn runs out? This is really screwing me up. Cast. Yo, dude, it won't let me cast that thing because I have to scroll down. This is getting really weird. What do I do? Uh, I'm not sure, man. I've, I've cast that spell before, but I, I can't remember what well, I it's, did. I had that the text too. is so large for the, for the card that it's making me <laughs> scroll down through the text. And when I scroll huh. down, I can't huh. cast it. Like I'm clicking cast over and over. Oh my god, this is furiating. Do you realize that this was like the best situation for me? This was the best case scenario. Well, you, you, you don't have the mana to cast I it. I thought I could there. cast it for free. You, you have to have nah, the mana. Nah, it's then. free. No, uh, no. Are you sure? I don't think so. I, I can look at the... Yeah, oh, without paying its mana cost. Yeah, that would that would be uh, very good for I me. just clicked that cast button a million times. <laughs> oh my god. Good game. Wow, sorry. That would Yeah, you would have killed me. I'll still ride it out, but I am going to like I guess now I do need to upload this and show this to wizards cuz that's like a glitch. Yeah, for sure. Are you land screwed over there with only three islands? What's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted this to look like a good game, and I could tell that you were land screwed, so I didn't want to steal your uh, Gas Lord of the Fugue, bro. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Alright, so this game completely fell apart. That's really shitty. Oh, now I'm going to lose it and make him draw three cards instead. So I'll browbeat and let myself draw three cards. Nothing is worse than misclicking that. He takes five. 
so that makes it a closer game. Oh man, I can't believe that Gas Lord of the Fugue thing. That was my chance. And that was one of the best cards to hit with that. Like, unbelievable. My one of card hit his one of card. Oh, I can't believe he's making me discard. He doesn't know that I'm land flooded. Not even flooded, but I've already hit like my critical mass. And I guess now that he has one black, eh, I don't know, he could have cast something if he had like a more Y or something that was more threatening, but apparently everything in his hand either costs two black or five or more mana. So let's just continue to sprint through my deck. Uh, we'll try to do this so that I can leave some red and blue open and draw more cards. I guess that's cool, and we'll drop this Terramorphic Expanse, and then let him go. Ooh, I hit a Remand, that's legit. Um, let's see, if he makes me discard a card, I guess I'll drop a Cancel. And then... Yeah, that's a little weird, so he's going for that discard build. Or that's his, like, main strategy. It's kind of a peculiar choice versus a, a deck with so much card draw. But whatever. I think I'm dead. I'll be raging about that uh, stolen Gas Lord of the Fugue thing for the rest of my life. That's going on my tombstone. Okay, so I hit a land. Now I can counter something and use Overwhelming Intellect, which is pretty dope. But it looks like... I don't know. Should I kill that? Nah. We'll let it go. Hopefully when he's hit six mana, he's going to play something that's really nutsy. He hit six mana. If he just makes me discard another card, I have no idea how this game is going to go. Okay. Do I want to waste that? I think I do. I just want cards. I really wanted to do that on something that costs six mana to draw six cards, but speeding through two cards is fine, especially when he's been so so discard centric. He's gonna draw a card, and I don't know, man. He's been getting some crazy card advantage from that guild mage, and that's been the only thing hurting me. It's still 8 damage so far. I'm wondering if I should have Sulfurous Blasted a while ago, or what the best play is. But we can just ride this out until the bottom with that Demir Guild Mage. Another land, mother of god. Okay, I have enough mana to do both now, so that's cool. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make sure that I cast this during a combat phase, and not my main phase so that it only does two damage to me. And I think that was a smart thing. Right now I don't know if I'm gonna remand something or cancel it. If it's something that he can recast, I'm gonna cancel it. If it's something that he taps out all the way for, yeah, ugh. Okay, I'm gonna remand it to draw a card and that's going to make him tap out and cast it again and then even if he does cast it again I'm just going to drop two land so I got a free card out of that and made him tap out more I don't even know if I should discard islands or terramorphic expanses sometimes I like to hold on to those terramorphic expanses because they can get a little cute with um the one card that lets you look at the top card of your library and I am so land flooded. It's just getting gross with the lands. I guess I'll play that and just grab a mountain on his turn, but I can't tell if we're both playing off the top of our decks or what's even going on anymore. This is probably a really diverse matchup to where the game could go a couple of different directions. I mean, depending on what build of Demir he's playing, and what build of Draw and Burn I'm playing, things get really crazy. Please tap out for 8 mana, something huge. I don't even know if I can let him Archaeomancer or something. 
Nah, he would just grab Consult the Necro Sages and pop out my last cards. And right now, I don't even want him to have a creature. Oof. Alright, so he has four cards in his hand, and I have one, and it's a land. I just did a land grab, so I better not draw a land. Okay, thank god. I don't know, this deck is kind of good at top decking. With three compulsive researches, and two brow beats. I don't know, I could still be in this. I can't believe I just hit those two remands. I'm gonna draw so many cards. I'm already down to 31 cards in my deck. I love that this deck moves that fast. He's at 41 though, so he's no slouch with um with his card draw. He's got Divination and those Guild Mages. He's up to nine mana. Ooh, and he's he just goes. I'm ready to pause. If he plays... Uh, okay, I gotta be careful here. I need to remand with one red, one blue. That'll let me draw a card. And I got this backup remand just in case, which is deliciously trolly. I don't know, this deck really can hit some sweet spots. And right now, I am just on a roll with card draw. I think I may have just hit so many land. Ah, oh, another land. I may have hit so many land that now I'm just gonna start hitting some meat and potatoes. Now, once I get life advantage, I win. I'll just drop the fattest earthquake. Oh my God. Okay. He hasn't been playing very many creatures, and I can still steal a creature of his, so I'm just going to straight up electrolyze him right now. Make sure I click the right guy. Jeez Louise. So that's going to pop him for two. Oh, that's a goodie. I love Swerve against Demir. Um, I played this dude Spade Song last game, and he stomped me out, but I believe at one point I swerved a... This is getting crazy. <sighs> oh no, the exact same situation is going to happen. He is going to return his Consult the Necro Sages, and he's going to make me discard two cards, and I'm going to swerve it back at him. And he knows that that's a possibility, because I did it to him another game before. I don't know, man. I really like Draw and Burn, but I have just been losing over and over and over. But it's one of those games to where... Do I want to do this to me instead? No, I can't. I can't even swerve that if I wanted to. And that's fine. I don't even know what to think about that. I think I'm going to let him cast that vampire blood thing on it <clears throat> and then steal it once it has lifelink. But we'll see. Um, he is playing a deck that has last gasps, so I am kind of paranoid about that. <clears throat> I'm out of counter spells, so now it's just coming down to fakes and feigns. <clears throat> Mark of the Vampire! And we'll make it look like I'm really thinking. Honestly, I could in response Sulfuric Blast. But I think I'm gonna let it slide. We'll let him swing for three. And that's really cool. Um, even if he has a last gasp now. Oh dear. No, that's fine. Pause, dude. Please go through pause. I hate lag. So now I'm going to swerve this back at him again. That's This is one of the best feelings. Let me make sure I click the right guy. I don't even know why his card is flashing right now or what's going on. Oh my god, he lost some hotness. 
Okay, so he swings in for three and he's gonna gain some life, but I really think he might have a last gasp in his hand. No, if he had it, he would have discarded it and not those nutsy cards. Oh man, this just got really weird. Okay. Let's just do it. So now I'm stealing his creature. It's a 5-6 flying lifelink. And I win next turn. I'm going to pop him for 5. That'll bring him down to 9. I gain 5 and go up to 12. And then I earthquake for a shitload. Nope! Beacon of unrest. This game ain't over. I got nothing in my graveyard. And he has a... Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. I don't even know what to think now. I might have to play my Draining Welk as a 1-1. One, one. No, I can play it as an instant. That's so strong. Okay. Draining Welk costs 6, and I have a Remand. So that's a total of 8. I can cast both. I'm not going to Earthquake. That wouldn't kill it. I'm not going to Sulfurous Blast, because that won't kill it. All I have is this turn. I'm at 7, he's at 14. This is one of those good games that I was hoping for. Okay. So he casts a Chittering Rats. I think I'm going to Draining Welk that. Because I don't even want that coming back. Or do I want to draw a card with Remand more? He has no more cards left. So, let's remand it with one blue, one red, to draw a card. He can recast it, but I'm going to draw a card. I hit a land. Will he replay it? He replays it. Pause. Draining well can counter it. So now I have a chump blocker. And I need to block. If I take the damage, then I can't Earthquake. But he's down to zero cards. Oh my god, I'm down to 23 cards left in my library. I have to block. If that had some kind of weird evasion that I forgot about, I would be pissed. And next turn, my guy's going to untap. And I can swing, and then Earthquake. Good game, dude. And I mean good game either way. Yeah, sorry about that at the beginning. I think I got you. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't look good. Yeah, it came down to one mana. Oh my god. Do you see this? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Good game, dude. That's, this was crazy. This was a, a vid worthy of uploading. Thanks a lot, man. Alright, that's going to wrap up this game. And I'm done. Thanks for watching. Phone cats.